everybody. Welcome to the homestead. What we're going to talk about today are pepper plants. How do we grow our peppers here on the homestead? You know, being off grid provides a whole different set of scenarios and uh, difficulties to gardening in some aspects, especially for modern gardeners. You know, a lot of people, when they try to grow pepper plants, um, they have to use electricity. They put them under grow lights or fluorescent lighting, put them in seed trays and put them under fluorescent lighting to get their, their pepper plants pepper seeds to sprout uh, and uh, you know it take for us we don't have the electricity to do that so but a lot of people do some people they put seed trays down and they put the pepper seeds and seed trays and then they place those on top of a refrigerator because of a refrigerator on top of a refrigerator is a lot more is warmer uh, than the surrounding area inside of a kitchen and so uh, people understand that on top of a fridge you have more heat up there and it takes a little bit of heat and warm air to get pepper seeds to sprout well, what do you do if you're off grid? We're off grid. Well, we figured out a method last year that worked pretty good for us, and we're going to do it again this year, and I wanted to show it to you. Now, many people don't understand, before I get started, that pepper plants, for the most part, are perennials. They will grow back year after year. You can grow that same plant year after year and get the same peppers, more peppers off the same plant. So if you grow up, if you live in like a tropical or subtropical region or in, in warmer climates, more in the south of the, of the United States, you can grow a pepper plant and winterize that pepper plant, trim it back uh, and, and prune it. And that same pepper plant will grow back and you'll be able to get more peppers from it. Well, most of us in the U.S., don't live in tropical or subtropical environments. And so not many of us can do that. Uh, so we have to sprout our own pepper plants over again year after year. We just treat them as annuals. And so what we decided to do is come up with a, we, we came up with a solution that we discovered last year. I wanted to show you what we do to, to sprout our pepper plants. It works great. Uh, it's a very easy method. And uh, it works great if you're off grid like we are. We don't have electricity. We don't have the, the electricity to go ahead and get fluorescent lighting or provide Provide extra heat lamps to provide the heat necessary for germinating these seeds. So here's how we do it. Uh, right now, um, we have a couple of different varieties from uh, Baker Creek. Uh, this one here is called the Italian Peppercini. It's a sweet pepper uh, that's got supposedly a little bit of heat. It's different than like the little Peppercini uh, banana peppers, and, and this is one is red. So I decided to try this one this year. This one here is a sweet pepper bullnose. It's a different one than we had last year. I'm going to try this one and see uh, how this one goes. My wife is a big fan of sweet peppers. And so then we have some other hot peppers, spicy peppers. We grew the Numex Twilight last year. That was great. We saved all of those. We grew some jalapenos. This year we're growing, it's GP for ghost pepper. Uh, we were given some ghost peppers by a good friend, and we're going to go ahead and sprout these. And what we do is we put them inside of a piece of uh, um, basically paper towel and fold that over and then soak it down and then put it inside of a plastic bag. And the plastic bag just sits out uh, in a warm spot. Usually we can put this out in the sun and the, the, the sun will warm up this bag and provide the heat necessary uh, to go ahead and sprout and germinate these seeds. And we just seal the bag off and lay it out in the sun or lay it next to the wood stove in the wintertime if we want to get started early and these things will sprout. Now I just did this one uh, and we're going to go ahead and do this one and show you how I do this. So basically what I'm going to do to get started is go ahead and fold this over and then crease it like that. Then I'm going to fold this over again and crease it like that. Then I'm going to unfold it. I'm going to open up my little baggie here. I'm going to take a lot of these pep these ghost peppers. These are ghost pepper seeds. And just sprinkle them around. I'm going to give them lots of space. Lots of spacing because these guys are going to sprout inside here. They're going to begin to grow sprouts. And it's just when they begin to sprout and the sprout gets maybe an inch or two long. Maybe an inch, maybe less than an inch. Maybe like a, maybe like a, I meant to say centimeter or two long. Maybe like a, a quarter of an inch long. I'm going to take them out and remove them. Uh, I don't want them to get too, too, grow, too, I don't want them to grow too much in here. Because I want to get them in soil as soon as they sprout. The big, the hard part about peppers is just getting them to germinate. And if you can get them to germinate, that's that's ninety percent of the battle right there. And a lot of people have trouble. They you see all kinds of people online saying how they have difficulty in getting pepper seeds to germinate. 
So what we're going to do is just go ahead and fold this guy back over. Fold that over there. And I'm going to take some water. Just pour it on top of there. Yeah, it gets a little bit on the table. But it might be on. No big deal. And I'm just going to move it around here to collect up some of that water. Okay. Now that is completely saturated. What we'll do next is go ahead and get a bag. Take that bag, open it up. And this little guy is the perfect size. Drain off some of that water a little bit. It's the perfect size to just slide right in there. Don't worry about getting too much water in there. It's not a big deal. Slide them in there. Bring your hand out. And just seal off the bag. Now I just kind of take that and squeeze out as much air as I possibly can. Don't worry about, say people say, well, you got to have air in the bag. No, you don't actually. I usually squeeze out all of the air and that bag there is ready to go. And then, so what I'll do is go ahead and get another paper towel. You can wipe up all of this mess right there. And then get a paper towel and then wipe up that and dry that. And then go ahead and put on here, get a Sharpie Ghost Pepper. Now, you flip this over, you'll see the seeds pretty clearly in there. I hope you can see that. Uh, that way, when they start to sprout, you'll be able to see it real quick. You'll see those little lines shooting out of there. And then you can go ahead and open this up, pull them, uh, pull the seeds out, and then go ahead and put them in your seed tray and get them started in soil. And so there you go. And I got a bunch of these going already. I have, uh, there's another ghost pepper packet here. Um, this one here is the sweet pepper, sweet bullnose pepper. I got those going there. And this is another Italian pepperoncini. We have some others. And so this is just a great way to get your peppers sprouted without using heat. Um, I did this uh, last year after I read about somebody else doing it, and that person actually decided to go ahead and wear these underneath his clothes uh, to provide, and he sprouted and germinated his, his seeds basically with his own, with his own body heat. Uh, kind of an ingenious way to do it, but he, he had no other way. He was living off grid. He had no other way to sprout his seeds, and he did it with his own body heat. Well, this is a great way of doing it. You take it, put it out, take it like just like this, and go ahead and put it outside. If you have some railing or next to a window inside to where it gets a little bit of sun, and that sun will heat up the bag, heat up the seeds, and they will germinate just like that. And then you can transplant them into your seed trays. All right. Hope it's hope you found this video helpful. Uh, we know we did. We did this last year. It worked great. We're going to do it again this year, and then uh, we'll give you an update on the garden as we go. It's just getting now to be spring, and so we have lots of garden updates coming up. All right, we'll see you next time on The Homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.